Right, Lee Anderson, the <laughs> former UK, former Conservative, former Labour, whatever, whatever. Uh, anyway, he's crossed again and uh, he's become Reform's first MP. But here's the question. Well, should he actually face re-election having defected because he wasn't put there by his constituents? And uh, we're debating that this morning with Stephen Pound, former Labour MP, and Matthew Stadland, political commentator. Good morning to you both. And Matthew, morning. you feel that absolutely he should put this as to the test of the public opinion and see if he gets re-elected for a form. Yeah, it's very straightforward as far as I'm concerned. In 2019, Lee got voted in as a Conservative MP and now he's switched to reform. So if I had voted for him, I'm not a Tory, but if I had voted for him as a Conservative voter in 2019, I would be very annoyed and would want to have another go at it. And also, and this is an important point, Lee himself, not that long ago, voted for a bill which would have allowed, had yeah. it passed, constituents to trigger a by-election if their MP had changed party. Mm. So, he's, he's sounding a bit scared here on this, Stephen. Yeah, look, I, I think that one of the problems we've got here is that if he did have one of these recall petitions and he had a by-election, let's face it, we're, we're only a few months in the next election, £250,000. So here's a suggestion. I mean, at the present time, there's, there's, I think there's like 18 or 20 independents sitting in the House of Commons, more independents, and these are people who've had the whip mm. retained. So are every one of those then going to have to have a by-election? Because that gives the whips an incredible amount of power. So I th here's a suggestion. If it's within 12 months of the election, then the MP crossing the floor should have to pay 10% of the cost of it, £25,000. Of a by-election. Exactly mm. so. I mean, why should we spend £250,000? We're not exactly rolling in dough. Mm. At the, the cost of democracy, though, it can be expensive. Yeah. And this really matters because yeah. those constituents should have their views mm. represented in Parliament. By the way, let's remember, mm. none of this needed to happen. Mm. I, I have a big ding-dong whenever Lee and I chat to each other on his show. We get on personally, we see the good in each other. Mm. But let's face it, he made Islamophobic comments for which he has repeatedly refused to apologise. Had he not made those, those comments, he wouldn't have been suspended mm. from his party. It was only a month or two ago that he was the, the deputy chairman of the ruling mm. party. And he was also and, very anti-reform a few weeks ago, and now he's very anti -tory, Well, he didn't see, he he didn't see reform as the way ago. forward. But, but just th tell th me... This is what on. he said on Patrick oh, Christie's yeah. last night. Let's have a look. A by-election in, what, six weeks, and then a, yeah. maybe a general election in May. Yeah. What a ridiculous scenario that would be. I think it's about 300 grand to have a to by-election. It costs a hell of a lot of money, the taxpayers' money. And now if anybody out there wants to pay for it, then come and knock on my door, and I'll think about it. Well, I mean, is that a fair point? There is going to be a general election. It could be as soon as May. It's not going to be as soon as it May. Could I mean, be. November, well, November the 14th. So, so soon, I, I can give you a tip for Cheltenham and a tip for the general election. <laughs> okay. well, Firefox in the 130 the and November the 14th. Really, that's after the American election? Yeah. The Rishi Sunak yeah, has, yeah, exactly. has about a week yeah. or so now, I yeah. think, to mm. decide whether there's going to be a May election. I think almost all of us mm. are almost certain mm. there won't be. This is just an excuse. Mm. He's running scared of his own electorate. He claims Lee to be a man of the people. Well, put it to the people of his own constituency. By the way, th there is a wider question here than just Lee Anderson. Mm -hmm. Nigel Farage thinks it's hugely signif significant. I'm not sure that it is. What I am sure of is that this says a lot about Rishi Sunak, our Prime Minister's political judgment, because it was him who made Lee Anderson mm -hmm. the deputy chair of the Tory party, and look where he is yeah, now. But he we, we can agree that. on that, but here's, here's the thing. Uh, during the last Parliament, when you know, I was still in the House, there were a huge number of people, mostly because of Jeremy Corbyn, who resigned the Labour whip and sat as independents. Their constituents still got the same service, they still got the same people in the office, still dealing with the same casework. And I think you can make a case for that, that the important relationship between the MP and the constituents is in fact that service to them and that carries on. So Lee's still got the same office yeah. in Ashfield and they're still doing the same work. But uh, uh, Let me ask you, sorry, you were going to... No, 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 I was going to ask you about the American election yeah. and, and, and you, you're convinced that uh, Sunak will, will call a general election yeah. after the Americans decide on who the new president will be. Yeah. Now could that result mm. influence or have any benefit to Rishi Sunak? For instance, I'm thinking, you know, if Trump is elected. Mm. 
I'm sorry, the, the nightmare pres- <laughs> pres- scenario. Look, um, I think the reality is that Rishi, Rishi Sunak is in the Mr. Micawber rule at the moment. Yes, something will turn up. It, there's no way that he'll go to the, 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 the public at the present time. The electorate simply uh, 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 baked in the idea that he's, he's not going to win the next but election. But you don't think yeah. the American result influences no. people here that they say no. the world is going more conservative? Yeah, I don't think so, because if you look at, at, at Europe and look at you know, the, the, the wider Anglosphere, if you like it, there's all sorts of weird elections going different ways. Look at Italy, look at Hungary. It's, we don't actually have a read across there. America is closer to us, by all means. If Biden wins... Um, in November, then I think that could actually energise, you know, sort of the centre left, the Democratic left. Mm. If Trump wins, maybe it will provide a mm. boost. But what will Johnson do? Because Johnson, after all, um, with, with Nigel Farage, is Trump's agent on earth. I think it's a very good question that you ask, Gaiman. I think the answer, though, is no, it won't have an impact on how we vote in this country. But it does raise the surreal prospect of a, a Trump presidency alongside a Starmer prime ministership. I mean, just how are those guys going to get on? But then again, how is Rishi Sunak going to get on with Donald Well, Bush Trump? and Blair got on pretty well, but everybody thought that there's no way that they could work together. I mean, you, you, in the end, you have to work with people. an electoral college win that he's got to achieve, even if he gets the popular vote. He's <laughs> a long way from president yet. Um, just a final thought on the Lee Anderson yeah. debate. If the Conservative Party had taken a stronger line and had called it out as Islamophobia, mm. as they would have done it if it had been a slur against a Jewish mm. uh, person, would that have changed the situation? Would it have forced a by-election? And therefore, is the fault not with Lee Anderson, but with Rishi Sunak and being well, weak? The, the fault for the comments are, are with Lee Anderson. The fault for not calling out properly, calling it Islamophobic, as you say, a very good point. Had, it, had these remarks been made about a Jewish mayor, they would have immediately been denounced as anti-Semitic. I'm Jewish myself. Rishi Sunak has not got a grip on Islamophobia in his party. He is trying with that memorial. He's trying and, to, and, and, and spending a hundred odd million pounds on trying to protect Muslim sites in this country. That is good, but he hasn't gone far enough. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, fascinating. Matthew, Steve, we, we can actually agree on that point. Let us let us part in a, a degree of amity. We both agree on that point. There we okay. go.